We're at the Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market in South Philadelphia. One in five people in Philadelphia is hungry. It's one in eight in our country and in the state. And I think people don't necessarily know, you know what that means in terms of the stress of not knowing where your next meal is coming from. Being a teenager who skips a meal because you want your younger sibling to eat, that's what it means to be hungry. Hunger is a huge problem in the United States. Um, well, it, it is hard to believe, but you know, 25% of kids at some point during the year go to bed hungry in America. That's, that's obscene. Forty percent of food in our country is going to waste, and we think it's about the same amount in our region. So Phil Abundance collects food from grocery stores and manufacturers that would otherwise be going to waste, but there's still a lot more out there that we haven't figured out how to get to. So the easiest way to describe this building is as a produce mall. It's a giant refrigerated produce mall. We have 22 individual wholesale, uh, wholesale produce tenants who on a daily basis, Sunday through Friday, are wholesaling produce. So bringing produce in from all across the world, whether it's on a truck or a boat or by plane, and then they're selling it to anybody who wants to buy produce. And Phil Abundance, on a daily basis, has a truck here with an employee who solicits donations from our wholesalers. Phil Abundance has a partnership with the Wholesale Produce Market where we are gleaning and rescuing their the items that would have otherwise gone to waste. So vendors here are selling directly to restaurants, grocery stores, others in the area that need that produce. But there's times when that produce starts to get near expiry or the end of its life, and it usually goes to waste. Well, what we've done is we've kind of come in as the middleman, and we say, okay, while it may not be cost effective for you to go through all of this produce and figure out what's still good and what's bad, we can do that because we have the power of volunteers that can take all of that produce, take out maybe the 10 bad pairs and keep the 20 good pairs and then use it for our clients. So we met Daylin about a year ago uh, after a law came out in France that asked businesses to stop sending food to landfills. And our executive director was really excited about this idea and Daylin was really excited about this idea. And there was a lot of energy around the table and we're really trying to figure out what the next steps are to sort of move policy forward to allow more programs like this to thrive, um, you know, make sure it's good business for businesses in our state, but also make sure that we're sending less food to the landfill and getting food to people in need as much as possible. How do we take something like this where we have all this perfectly good food that's just going to waste because it may not look pretty enough, or it might be getting close to the end of its life, or it wasn't exactly what the vendor wanted, and how do we get that to people who could use that product? So how do we incentivize, how do we possibly require, uh, possibly suggest in different circumstances that restaurants, uh, supermarkets, and others who have excess food find a way to donate that and get that to people like Phil Abundance who will distribute it to people in need. Rather than throw it away or let it rot or whatever it is, uh, there's real need out there. there. There's plenty of supply, there's plenty of demand. Our job is to match them up. So I'm just looking at you. Just look at me. Oh, good. We're at the Philadelphia Whole Food Produce Market. Whole, whole, whole Food Produce Market. Um, Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market. Oh, I, I can't. I don't know why I can't say it. Start again. 